Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is dedicated to the beautiful sign of Aries. Now my dear friend Aries, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest aside. Um, if ever you would like to have your own reading, if ever you do have any doubts, especially with this type of reading, if you feel as though this might resonate with your situation and you would like more clarification, you'd like your own reading, please do contact me. My information is right below. You have the list of my readings that right below also. Everything is right there. Um, so please do not hesitate. It'll be my great pleasure to assist you. And um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click to the, um, to the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and I do thank you so very much. So uh, with no further ado we're going to begin this reading. This reading is are you involved into a third party? This is not for those of you who already know who have confirmation. It's for those of you who do not have the confirmation so you're suspicious somewhere. Um, I'm using a tarot deck and I'm also using a Lenormand so let's go and see what we can find out for you. I have temperance followed by the Four of Pentacles. I also have the Emperor. I'm just going to remove these cards right over here. Have the Nine of Cups followed by the High Priestess. We have the Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. I have the Fool and I also have the Six of Swords. So, um, I unfortunately have to say that I do see that there is something going on and I, I honestly don't feel like it's necessarily going to uh, end up well. I'm going to go and get some clarification with the Lenormand after to uh, confirm this with you if confirmation there is. Um, but I can tell you that uh, there is something going on and, and well you're here so you are suspicious and I do have the suspicions which are shown right here within the um, with the Four of Pentacles over here. So this is about being in a relationship and um, it's really about being in a relationship and not not wanting to see realizing that there's something not necessarily having the proof and kind of just shutting our eyes like if we had a blindfold and we just don't really want to see but of our own choice we are deciding not to see um, so it's really I, I feel as though you're waiting to get confirmation here is what I'm getting from this um, I feel like whenever you will have the confirmation you're going you're going to have the proof that you are going to act upon it but until then you're staying into um into a mode of just really, you know, relaxing. Um, not relaxing, that's not the correct word, I'm sorry. You're in a mode of being stagnant, of not moving. Uh, you're really just trying to see what's going to happen and try and figure out things, even maybe what you're going to do within all of this, because there has been a lot of promises that have been given out onto this relationship. Um, and, you know, it is clearly shown over here with the Ten of Cups, and this is why I'm saying the future. I'm, I'm really not all that sure about it, because I do have the Ten of Cups, which is in reverse, and this is usually about a happy ending, and um, it's family, and it's reunions, and, you you know, it can be, mean a re wedding and so forth. Um, but that being said, I feel, I feel like right now, you at the high priestess over here, you're looking, you are looking into a, it's like if you're looking into the mirror and you're seeing nothing except for yourself. And that is one of the problems of the relationship. You're not seeing your future with this person anymore. You're only able to see yourself and there is hope and I do believe that somehow somewhere you do have some hope within you. Um, is it hope that something's going to happen with this relationship? Maybe, uh, but there is some hope within the cards here, uh, within this card in particular when I'm speaking about the High Priestess. Um, I feel like you do have a lot of tools. You do have a lot of, of ways to maybe try to find out. You do have a lot of... Um, a lot of ways to to find out but maybe you're not quite using them well um, maybe you're not looking deep enough or maybe you don't have the will to look deep enough right now um, but if you really wanted to you do have all the tools that you have within your possession right now to try and find that proof um, I feel as though right now they are doing whatever it is that they are doing maybe a he or she your partner and I honestly I I feel as though there's a little bit of reticence, so they're a little bit not quite sure, you know, if you know about it or if you're going to find out about it. Mm, 
Uh, but that being said, it's not bothering them anything more than that. I feel like this was a little bit, though, I have to say, I feel like it was not something that was planned. I feel like they just kind of jumped into this for some reason. And, um, and now they're just, you know, caught into this whole situation. Now, do they want to leave the situation or not? I don't necessarily see it here. Um, I do see that there has been, you know, some efforts put into the relationship, try and balance things out. There have been a lot of fights. There's a lot of, um, of, of on your side, there's a lot of trying to take, um, trying to take your own side and trying to figure out and trying to say what it is that you believe and what you, what you believe is happening and, um, and your feelings, how you feel about about the whole thing um, and I do feel like whenever you do get this um, whenever you do get this proof that you're waiting right here I do believe that it's going to be more decisive I think I think that you are going to um, stand your ground and um, maybe even put an ultimatum or something but something is going to be happening with that um, as I said this is really the three of pentacles here it's really about working it's about trying it's about trying to listen to different uh, different information that are coming from me I feel like this is information coming from your partner partner wanting to believe it but not really wanting you know you want to believe it but you know that you can't believe it so you're kind of caught between two worlds here um but I really feel like the boat is slowly leaving it is slowly leaving and I feel as though you are going to leave for a certain amount of time once all of this is figured out um I'm not going to say how long I'm you know but you are going to be leaving for a certain amount of time to try and figure things out or is it is it going to be you who's going to be completely leaving of the relationship maybe is it just going to be a certain amount of time? Could it be a, a day or a weekend? That's a possibility also. I'm going to um, put this tarot away. I'm going to take out the Lenormand and go and see what the Lenormand has to say over here. So with the Lenormand, we have the bear. I have the lady. I have the witch broom, the choices, the staircase, the swan, the clock, the dog, the mountain, the coffin, and I also have the... Um, the magnifying glass. So let's begin with the magnifying glass. Magnifying glass here is really trying to tell you, you need to look. Okay, you need to look two times, three times, four times, ten times if necessary. There are things that you're not seeing that are really close by to you. You're, as I said, within the tarot over here, you have all the tools that is necessary. You're just not seeing it. Here, it's repeated again. Look around. The clues are there. Um... I know I said that, you know, you're, there was going to be some choices. So yes, there are some choices that are going to be made. And I told you I wasn't quite sure about the finality. It didn't look all that good necessarily. If I'm looking at the Lenormand here, I have to say that at the end of this relationship, are you going to, you know, give it another tr chance? Maybe this is not this reading. Um, are you, but I do not believe that this is going to be the partner of your lifetime. Uh, I believe that at some point it is going to end. I have two endings over here. So, um, but I do believe that, you know, you have all the strength. You have the strength that you need if ever you do want to try and, and rebuild this relationship. Or if you want to leave on your own, you have all the strength. You can do it. You can walk up those mountains. Um, because I feel like right now you are living into an unhealthy, unhappy um, situation. I do not believe that it is going to get better and it's really just a question of time before all of this just is revealed to you so um unfortunately i do have to say for aries uh this is a yes there is a third party um once again it might not be your situation if ever you do have serious doubts you would like to have your own reading please contact me all my information is right below into the youtube description box and in meanwhile i do wish you um much courage much love, much strength, uh, many blessings, and um, I will see you tomorrow with new messages.